All right, Pat, here today to uh, get into a, a couple of fun videos that we're going to kind of walk through how we use what's become our favorite go-to resource for everything that we do uh, with Slapping Glass and the Slapping Glass podcast, which is Huddle Instat and all the features and video that we get. We're just going to walk through a couple of different videos, two-part series. One, this first one will be all about how we use it for our video breakdowns and social media stuff and coming up with roundtable ideas for SG+. Plus. Second one, we'll talk more about how we use it for podcast prep and also post production of a podcast and going back and finding film to kind of support whatever we talked about once the show is done. So Pat, before we dive in, anything from your standpoint? Yeah, other than, you know, it's a big part of what we do in generating content. And like you said, generating ideas, we're grateful to be working with Instat and have access to their product and excited to kind of show you a little look behind the curtain, how we use it and uh, the benefit that we derive from it. In the most broad sense, how we like to use Huddle in terms of watching games and finding content, finding ideas, strategies that we see. The best example is if we have a team we want to watch or a league, uh, it's easily searchable. This has been one of our favorite things about Huddle instead is just like the depth and breadth of all the countries and all the different leagues that you can look into. And I think we've you know, as you can see here, we've overused the search function on stuff quite a bit. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, but like, this has been really the best part. I guess just an example, Pat, if you type in, you know, I guess Spain again, or just as you start to type in that feature and you search it, what we like is, I mean, you can look at the competitions one, you can see all the different from men's side, women's side, and all the different leagues as well that are in there. Um, and then if you go to the the teams tab, Obviously, then it has like youth teams. I mean, and we have friends around the world we've had on the podcast, or whatever, that coach a, you know, a certain country 17U team. And sometimes this isn't the podcast prep one, but we can watch some of their stuff on there if they have that film. So, and then going to the players too, um, like we'll discuss in a second how we used it for players. You know, I know here's all the players with the last name Spain, but you can really search down into players as well and like, Pat showing, you know, we did a whole video on Kevin Pangos and I'll kick it back to you in a second, Pat, but this was a helpful function when people said, Hey, watch how he does this. Yeah. Keeping it moving here. Just when we do find the content or, or someone po points us in a direction, we want to watch a team, we can find the game, find the team. And I'll just kind of select one of them here. This recent Grand Canaria Tenrifa preseason. And so we're going to get the game's going to pull up. Now, as we move through the game, I'll kind of skip ahead here. What we really like about Instat and what helps us a lot is its ability to create tags, create playlists to our own content and what we'd like. So for instance, we watched this play, they were in a little Argentina break here. If we like it, it's very easy. We can stop it. And then there's this tag feature down here. You click on it. And now we've obviously created a ton of tags. And if I add Argentina break or transition break, I can click it or we can create our new tag, clicking this plus button here. So we could choose the name of the tag we want for this action. We can type it in here and then you can choose how much of the tag you want, you know, before or after how much of the game film you want it to take. And then you would just simply add it. Pat, I like about that too. I think you can add a hot key feature too like if you want it to be you know one or a certain key that you want to just add in that that's going to always add that argentina break makes it easier sometimes when you're going through you can just hit that hot key if you want to once we watch a game or we get all of our tags in line we can then kind of start to organize them a little bit better by viewing our tags you go into your settings section here and you click on my tags it's going to show up all the tags that you've assembled throughout the game or weeks uh, in our case, all your tags by the tags you've created are on the left or maybe the teams that are in that tag or the specific games. I know I've done a ton of ATO tags. So if I filter only, I wanna see my ATO tags. They're gonna all come up here and you can go through them individually like such and they'll play. 
or what we like to do in this case is we'll pull them all up and now they're going to just all of the ATOs we tagged will show up. And then from here, if we want to put them in one playlist, right, creating a folder, the folder name, let's say is ATOs. So we create it, it shows up here, and then I can just click and drag the ATOs that I want into this playlist. And then from there, once you're done with that, you can then, again, the same thing like tags, click on playlist. Yeah, and Pat, I think the other thing I like about this feature too is just before you go on is you can share tags and playlists with other users. So like for, for both of us at, at times, like, you know, this we're, we're looking kind of into your stuff right now. I have my own stuff too. And obviously we're sharing stuff back and forth, but the feature of being able to, you know, if you have, you know, another coach on your staff, whatever it is you want to share stuff with, then, you know, a lot of ways we collaborate on things is being able to share things back and forth and then kind of keep, you know, I, I watch something here, I add it, we share it you know, this is a really nice feature that way. Yeah, correct. If, I mean, to demonstrate that. So we've on this playlist here, you just go to the share button and then it's going to pull up and there you are. I can click on it. I send it. And yeah, you're going to receive an email that I've shared this playlist with you and you can easily access all of our content as well. In the most broadest sense, that's how we will use Instat for content generation, finding content, watching games, viewing games, and creating our own tags and playlists, which I said at the beginning is, I think, one of the features we really value the most. Just to add to your point, we've found this to just be probably the most user-friendly when it comes to just tags, dragging stuff, dropping stuff. I think that's why we've gravitated so much to it because it's just intuitive as far as how these things are made. And that's been super helpful just for the speed for us too of trying to find clips, put list together, share stuff. And then, you know, ultimately for us, obviously then creating content out of it.